My name is Sergeant Gale and I'm going to show you how to set up an Ampere C117 Fox. It's a tactical radio. So the AMPRC, it's Army, Navy, Portable Radio Communication. And it works in two different radio frequency bands. You have VHF, which is very high frequency, and UHF, ultra high frequency. And the two ranges, you have very high, that is 30 to 225 megahertz, and then UHF, which is 225 to 512. The radio without batteries is 9.8 pounds, and with the two batteries, it is 15.9. It can be carried in a backpack, as a man pack, or mounted in a vehicle. So we have this the battery tray, and then we have two 5590 batteries. And they go with the plug going on the sides. So then we take the radio itself, pop it right on, watch the clips. So then you have a selector lever for powering it on. You got PT, CT, and then LD. So you got plain text, which is unencrypted, cipher text, which is when you have crypto, and you have to go to LD for loading crypto. Another day. So power it on. All right, so we just ignore these warnings until we get to the screen. This is pretty much just the information screen for when you power it on and when it's in use. So to, what we're gonna do is we're gonna program two line of sight channels. So we hit the eight button, which is program, and enter on the NORM, norm, and then net, and then it asks you to start making changes. So you can see, back all the way out again. So the eight opens up the base of your programming tree, norm, knit, and then it asks you to set your presets. You can have zero to 99. So we're gonna work with 0, 1, and it'll say net 1, but that's that can be changed at a later time. And we hit enter, and then it asks if you want to activate it. Hit yes, and then brings you to net type. You want to do line of sight fixed frequency, because that's what we're, what we're going to work with. And then it brings you to another tree. Uh, so it has freak. So frequency left over, so you gotta do zero, and then whatever your frequency is. In our case, it'll be 75.7000. So we hit enter. So we're gonna transmit and receive on the same. So first one was transmit, and then second one was receive. And receive only, no, because you'll you'll want to be able to talk both ways. Then, no comsec, so data and voice, so clear, FM, below 90 megahertz, it defaults to tone, so you can't change it. Power is the amount of power that the radio is going to push push out when it transmits. The higher your, free, or higher your power, the farther you're going to go, but if it's running off battery power, the less life you're going to have. So, next, next, and then we go to main. And the main will be F M C M and then you just hit enter. 
and that's the last thing to change. Then you clear out. So then it automat when the radio powers on, it goes to the zero zero, but there's this preset channel that you can toggle up and down to go through your 99 nets. And once you hit over to one, you'll see that it doesn't say the default net and then the number because we went through and changed to FM command. So that's setting a preset channel. And then we have an antenna and a hand mic. So we've got it graded on being able to plug in a hand mic, which that will be plugged into the audio data fill port. So you have a whiskey war connector. There is a little red tick mark. And you have to match that with the flat portion of this. You'll actually have to, that's not a bad one, but sometimes you'll have to actually really push on it and then twist clockwise. And then, radio. And then, I'm on top of here. Actually popping out those legs. Okay. Yeah. Um, just pop out these. Come out. Relax. Relax. So when you put them back in, you'll have to pull them out a little bit. Okay. So, so, so twist this ring. Now it's a pull, pull down. Yeah. So, this belt is. Pull out these with the flexors. So it's actually to set up the antenna and then have. Cable, which you have. I'm not gonna, not gonna start throwing that out, but cable provided. So it goes to. So it actually changes based off of uh, the frequency. So we have the first frequency is a 75, 30 to 225 is VHF. So there's a VHF antenna port so when it's your if you'd be using anything below 225 there's actual ports that are dictate where you'd be or where would it connect to so you have your VHF antenna here and then your UHF would be over here so if you needed to go through both just twist that on 